Okay, this video is about bracing your rafters so that you can put a gable on the back like we're doing on the back. We're adding a gable on the back. It's a 30 foot wide gable, 512 pitch, and it's gonna attach onto the back of this. So we needed to strengthen these rafters. And here's how we did it. Or I did it, I did this completely alone. So one person can do this. And all I needed was the Milwaukee brushless cordless sawzall. I used a framing blade because I'm just cutting two by fours. And I've still got plenty of battery left. Well, let's see just exactly how much battery we've got left after cutting all these two by fours. If I can press the button, you get one without a glove. Three lights out of four. So three quarters of a battery still left. And that is a five amp hour lithium battery for the Milwaukee saw. And then of course we have the Ryobi cordless screwdriver because I put this all together with uh, T25 screws. Right here, three inch T25 screws. I use a tape measure, a chalk line, a speed square, a hammer, and a pencil. And the hammer was just to push these under where they were tight. What I did was I popped the chalk line from here to over there because I needed two full length two by fours and one little piece down here to make me a tow board. And up here, I popped a chalk line from here to there. I used a level, of course, to see. I uh, measured four feet from here down to here. That includes the tow board. And I used a level to go from here to there for my four feet so that I would have exactly four feet on each one of these uh, very level and they're they're level both ways let me show you what I mean by that they're level this way you can see that and they're level this way Now, once you get your first board level and screwed into place, then you can measure every 16 inches and your other two by fours are gonna come out level. And let's go down here where I show you what I mean. I uh, screwed them in every 16 inches and you can see my little mark for 16 inch mark right here. And let's see if this one also comes out level. Yep, it's level that way. And it's pretty much level that way too. So, from the second 2x4 all the way down to the 12th, everything's nice and level and straight. Now, the reason I did it this way is because I'm not only bracing these up, but this attic has a lot of potential because I'm standing, I'm full six feet and I'm standing fully erect under here with no problem at all, plenty of headroom. And there's a lot of 1945 flooring up here. There's window there and another, this window here, we've started replacing them with the dual pane insulated glass windows. So that one we've replaced, and we're going to replace this one as well. We just wanted to replace the broken ones first, and since this one isn't broken, we haven't done it yet. But those are the braces that I put in for when we were replacing the rafter tails. But you see there's some space over there too. So somebody could make a bonus room out of this, a big office or something. And if these are all nice and level, for them and exactly four feet, then they can cut, you know, half pieces of paneling or something like that and put them in there without having a lot of waste. And then you could put another two by four straight across each one of these and make it go from exactly 
four feet here down to there to use your other piece and then come straight across and have you a, a nice little room up here but anyway that is how you brace up the rafters and add some support and there's many other ways of doing it but like I said I just I wanted to do it this way so that if somebody came back later and wanted to finish this off into a, a finished attic room uh, it'd be a lot better than than whoever did this stuff right here lots more videos on this house and other real estate projects in our real estate playlist on Sane Enterprises and uh, our Gentry Shelton house on Sane Enterprises. We've got a whole series of these videos on the work we're doing to this house. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, if you'd like to make money this way, it's a great way to make money and it can be really fun sometimes and creative. I see a, a two by four down there that I haven't screwed into place. I'm gonna to have to take care of that. That's not gonna be level. It doesn't even have a screw in the bottom. So I'm going to take care of that till the next video. We're wishing all our hashtag insane friends, hashtag insane growth. I forgot to tell you, I will put a link to the Milwaukee and the Ryobi in the description of the video.